Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Art. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined with Hubby. I'm Kat. And we are talking paper today, specifically paper for burning. So I've got a list. I was asked last week by a toasty, Teresa, um, to talk about getting started with watercolor burning. Hey, Burl. Hey, Patel. Hey, Greg. So, hey, David. We are going to look at a bunch of different papers, but first let's quickly go over uh, the supplies you need. So that would be one, watercolor paper, um, a hard surface to tape that piece of paper down to, because if you just put it directly on your surface, it will burn, the heat from the paper will burn your surface below. So having something, whether it's a thick piece of cardboard, like what's in the back of a drawing pad, or an extra piece of wood tape down to that it will also keep the paper from buckling as much from the heat definitely I would say an easel but I always suggest an easel um, both graphite paper which you already have for wood burning but also a light pad because the paper will stay cleaner if you're using a light pad to transfer your patterns an HB pencil an eraser and a burner so you really don't need too much different if you're already um, set up for wood burning it's mainly the paper and a hard surface to tape down to that you need now this is a sample pack this turns out to be one of the uh, papers I like the most in burning but the thing is, is it has two different kinds of papers and we have to pay attention to that so this one is fluid 100 it's hundred percent cotton and then this is fluid high alpha cell cellulose, which is a wood pulp paper. When you're deciding to do wood burning on paper, if you're going to add color, that's something you really need to decide at the beginning. Like before you do anything else, you need to decide in your head what you want to do with it. And I say that because different papers work for different things. Not all watercolor paper is the same. Um, we can quickly look at, and these are samples. I've got a stack of samples all around me um, to show you what I mean. So this is the Hanamule. Hello, Hanamule? How do you say that? Hanamule. Ha what? Hanamule. Mule. Okay. So this is hot press, and we're going to go through all of this. Weight and type. I got two of these, so I gotta be careful what I do with it. This is cold press. And this one is. Oh, this one's also cold press. There's also a rough. Um, you're really not gonna use those in burning, but it's completely up to you. But what you'll see, hopefully, there we go, the two different textures cold press, or if you're over in Europe, the knot. They call it not press over there. And this is hot press. The thinner, or I'm sorry, no, we don't want them. No. The smoother is easier to burn, but the cold press, like I did with the manatee, um, gives you more options when you're adding color. So I did add watercolor to the to the hot press and I didn't like it as much as I did. The cold press so it's gonna be up to you and the texture you want for your piece and if you're adding color what kind of color is it a wet media is it a dry media ink and watercolor I know there's so much these are also a hundred and forty pound or 300 GSM paper it is thicker than your printer paper or cartridge paper if you're in the UK um, but they also have a thicker, oops, that's two pieces right there. You only need the one. 300 pound, which is 600 GSM. This is extremely thick. And this is also the cold press. Um, this is what I did the manatee on. You should still tape it down, but you're going to get a lot less buckling with the 300 pound than you are the 140 pound. So, got that. Yeah. I'm just going to throw these around. And see, these were sample cards that were sent to me. And I just cut off because this um, company happens to print their information on top. So I cut it off. So I still have it. This also means I have the same exact paper to test burn on before I touch down. 
So that works out. I went looking for this assortment pack. This was sent to me um, so that you could pick it up. Because you could, you used to be able to buy this. Um, and it comes with quite a bit of paper. Um, and this tells you the weights, the thickness. You see, I used the stone hand, which we'll get all into that, uh, for the manatee. It was not fluid. Um, let's see here. Oh, George the owl and Eddie the cat were done on this paper. And what I mean. All right. So down in the description, I put some links to paper uh, for you for samples. That way you can choose what you want. This is Stonehenge. This is how you how it comes. If you can get it through Jerry's um, this way, and what it is is it's several pieces of that watercolor paper, so you can test it. And they used to do it with all three types of paper, so you could test those out, but they don't do that anymore. Um, Fabriano sent me some samples because I was like hitting all the people up. Give me some paper. I need samples so I can see what I like the best. And you'll notice that the texture on each paper, now this is all cold press paper, the texture is going to be different. And what I mean is this is the Hanamul because they're all made differently. Now they're closer, but you'll find that Stonehenge and Arches are different uh, pattern wise. So that's something else you'll have to look look into is to then that's why I do recommend the samples and I'm going to show you a big sample that it costs $18 and I think the shipping for it is another 10 but it gives you 22 sheets of full 8 by 10 paper and this is uh, legion paper so it's going to be the top link that I, I that I have in there and when you open this up <coughs> When you open it up, you get 22 different kinds of paper to try. Now this first one is Yupo, and I put this out on purpose on the top. You cannot burn on this paper. This paper is actually a form of plastic. So this one is only for all the other medias. Not, not burning. So now we have all this different brands that you can test, different thicknesses. And so you'll see this is 90 pound. And just to show you the difference, look at the thickness between those two. Now the top one is 300 pound, and this one is 90. Let me find a 40, 140. There we go. So this is 140 arches, and this is 90. And that right there, you can see the difference. You can feel the difference. You really don't want to do the 90 pound because it's just too thin. It'll buckle even more than the 140. So with this, and they've got, um, I've also got a drawing sample. They've got four different drawing samplers. They've got two, this watercolor sampler. And when I say it comes with all kinds of paper, there's paper in here that I have never even heard of. And I, may, and I bought this specifically to test for burning. So it's got Bristol, which I'm not sure why the drawing Bristol is in with the watercolor paper. Because what you'll find, paper is sized differently. And when I say sized, and if you already know paper, then I'm sorry. The sizing means that there's a gelatin of some type. Some of them are animal byproducts, as in gelatin, gelatin. Uh, Fabriano claims that they are... Um, they are, where is it hiding? I just read it. Uh, this is what comes with, they're animal free on their sizing. Some papers size on, only on the external. Some papers size both internally and externally, and some do only internally. Now I'm talking all cotton paper. We are not talking about the um could you put oh, i'll do that the, i'm not talking about the wood pulp paper which we will look at that as well this is the drawing sampler and you'll see some of the same papers 
that were in the watercolor, like the artistic, the Fabriano, the Arches, um, because these papers cross over, so you can you'll see them in different ones. Some of these are really thick, but I saw one. They also have now this one, unfortunately, would be really cool, but it's too thin. It is hemp, and it is too thin to burn on but I think that would have looked really cool if you could have because I'm pretty sure with a higher heat well you know I don't know it's hemp I should try it I don't know how to react so but there's different textures different smoothness um, thicknesses so I have the I have the whole sampler page linked to Legion not an affiliate of any kind is just so you could find it easier if some of this interests you so that shows the different kinds of papers and I know that feels so overwhelming on yeah, what you can use I also had gotten this I purchased this from Legion but I won't be burning on any of this stuff they have cork paper um, Unfortunately, with cork, it appears there's glue in it because I had thought about I bought it specifically for the cork. Um, but with there being glue in it, I know people burn on it, but I don't know the safety issues of it yet. I need to keep researching it before I'll say yes or no. But there's some really pretty cork papers in here. Unfortunately, you could not burn on this one because it's got the metal leaf in it. It's really pretty, isn't that pretty? Yeah. And then on this side of this one, these are thinner papers, like way too thin. There's bamboo, because I was curious about some of the uh, natural fibers. So this the, is parchment. The last couple on that. Down here? Yeah. But not, not the high texture one. Not this one? But the one... That it's one? like a bamboo one on the very bottom. Yeah. That one. That one right here. This one is just under, I think, 265 GSM. I think that's 90 pounds. Mm -hmm. Though it does feel thick, uh, thicker than the other 90 pounds, so I don't know. Um, and this is a smaller pack, and that's how they come. The smaller cutouts are cheaper. Um, but there's definitely some interesting... Like, here's a Thai Banana Natural. Let's see what... Which one is that one? That's that one right there. If you, if you close it and they line up. I did that. I, think I stopped counting because I noticed that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's a really cool paper. But it's so thin. I would love to burn on it. You know? When the gels went uh, non-smoking. Banana pills. That's what they used. Alright. So. Those are... Not even all my papers, not even all of them. But I did want to take a look at the wood pulp papers. And you'll see this one does not say cotton on it. It doesn't have a cotton symbol. It, that tells you right there that it, it is a wood pulp paper. Some of these are 25% cotton with the rest of it being wood pulp. And you have to decide, see this one, is a uh, let's see here. Oh no, this is the cold press. I got the wrong, wrong one. But I went through a stint where I was buying all kinds of paper. So these are the same brand. One is uh, cold press, one is hot press, and you can see the difference really um, in texture with this. There we go. So hopefully I can get the light to pick it up. The smoother the better for a straight burn. If you're not adding color, oops, um, then I would definitely, unless your subject has a lot of um, texture in it, which could help, I would recommend the hot press. And then we also have, and you saw, uh, I did some burnings on On, a, on the mixed media and illustration, the small ravens are on the illustration board. This is mixed media board. And the ravens that uh, that I 
reburned on the wood for the magazine was done on this paper and you can see because I've got the other piece in there and this is much thicker I I did not have to tape this one down it's a hundred percent cotton it's two sides this one because it's a mixed media board is for wet and dry media the illustration board is pretty much the exact same thing except if they don't recommend using wet media on it it's only for dry media so that's why I mean it's good to know what you want to do with your burning before you start so that you can pick the paper that oops, so that is the smoothness of the board and it's about as thick or heavy as it might actually be a little heavier I'm trying to find a piece of 300 of I've got all this stuff on my lap Let's see here. it's actually thicker oops it's actually thicker than the 300 hopefully you can see that okay the bottom is the board and I look all shaky but I'm not so this is actually thicker I didn't have to uh, tape it down but with paper you do have to clean your pens a lot more because the paper will is will get stuck to your tip so having your strop and your aluminum oxide close by what did I drop? Um, will definitely help yeah so I have to put that away I did like burning on on this I do I do have this on my Amazon uh, list page I, I have the mixed media board I don't think I have the illustration board because I would prefer to have the option of both wet and dry which you have with the watercolor paper uh, versus just the dry let's see here and then we also have Bristol I bought this one this is the 500 that you, you asked me about the this yeah. is the 500 it's super smooth Unfortunately, I didn't realize it until after I bought it and got it. That it's only two ply, so it's thinner. I, I wish this was a thicker Bristol. I might give this one to you to draw on because this is the. But you'll notice these are the two. These two brands are the exact same. You'll see two different color um, labels on it. This is the 500. This is the 300. This is a lower quality than their 500. This is more of a student grade quality, whereas this is an artist grade quality. Well, plus, look at the size of it. It's so much smaller. <laughs> I got this in, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. In a smart art box. I bought this one. So, yeah, see, it's a, this one's 100 pounds. This one doesn't give me the weight, but this is 100% cotton. This is still a wood pulp. That's also why it's a yellow label. <clears throat> the green labels of 400 those tend to also still be the wood pulp it's not until you get to the higher qualities that um, it's cotton and cotton does burn better than the wood pulp it burns smoother it's still doable um, but if you're going to add wet media to uh, to the wood pulp it's going to be a completely different uh, problem actually wood pulp takes uh, watercolors and inks mainly watercolors differently than the cotton does so if you know you want to add watercolors to the burning you really need to be looking at the cotton paper for that it's gonna just be so much easier than a student grade wood pulp so mainly look for so this would even still consider even though it's only it's 25% cotton it's still considered a wood press uh, wood pulp paper for the most part because it's 75% wood pulp and it is going to work differently than the cotton. Alrighty. Now I've got a lot of people asking me how do you seal a burning. Um, that's on paper and unless you've used a color media that is not light fast you don't need to seal it um, that is another beauty of working on the paper versus the wood you don't have to worry about sealing it 
I would matte and frame it, uh, put it behind UV glass if that would make you, make you feel better. Um, this is the Arcus Cold Press, again, or Hot Press, sorry. I didn't like this one as much for burning. Um, I might end up giving you this one too. Um, because, again, the wood, you're not dealing with wood, you're not dealing with ox things oxidizing, so this isn't going to fade on the paper the way it does on wood. So just matting and framing and keeping it out of direct sunlight, you're good to go. And that's also how I display mine when they're done on paper, which basically is the same as uh, my wood. I, I do all that the same. I should have grabbed George and the manatee to show the diff. I mean, other than, because George was done on the Stonehenge, I'm sorry, not George, the, oh, where did all the paper go? Oh. <laughs> the uh, manatee was done on 300 pound Stonehenge. Here. <coughs> I don't know. So I did, thank you. I did your, uh, the manatee on, I'm trying to see if I, oh, right in my eyes again. I'm trying to see if I can find. <coughs> Because this is the Stonehenge, uh, this one's 140 pounds. Uh, there's also the bee paper. I have, I did try to burn, did I try to burn one bee? I'm not sure if I did. Um, there was a lot of buckling. What I'm looking for is the Stonehenge 300. I actually used one of the samples uh, for that. And that's what I like about Lincoln's samples is they just put this little sticker on most papers are two-sided so you can pull it off and use the other side i may have used it from this pack because i'm not seeing it and before i had them all separated but i obviously messed that up see that's a rough um rough texture versus grant two different brands but you can really see so the, the texture on rough can I, can I interrupt you for two questions yes so these both come from david david wants to know what about parchment paper depends on the thickness i have i do have that one sample i have not burned on it okay the thinner it is the more it's going to buckle and then let's tell what is what is world biography month Oh yes, I put a I put a poll up in the top right, right there. World Pyography Month is something I started last year, and I wanted to see if people were interested because it's a lot of work to get it going and to keep it up. Um, I'm doing it a little different this year. I'm going to have prompts, and this year I'm doing two prompts a week because the purpose is to really slow down. You're burning, you burn whatever comes to mind for that prompt. Um, I have a whole video on it, a whole playlist on it from last year. Um, it's just going to be a little altered instead of a prompt every day. It's a prompt, two prompts a week, and I'm going to release them all at the beginning of the month. That way I'm not having to do extra work. <laughs> and you, we just all burn along, and we had hashtag at World Pyrography Month or World Pyro Month. And share our art. Hey, Lana. So, hey, Amy. It, hey, Pete. <laughs> it's, hey, bro. Did I ever say bro? No, I but I did. did I? Oh, I said twice. So, that's mainly what it is. Um, I will be doing another video for it. So, it goes from August 1st to August 31st. Um, yep, again in August. I tend to use one wood board. In fact, I'm not even done with last year's because I did too much I overextended myself and what I mean by that is one prompt a day even at two two to three inches is still a lot of work and this was the board I still need to, to work on um, from last year this each one of these was a prompt and I had decided to do animals this year I'm doing something a little different um, so that's what that is I'm probably going to do, this was a 11 by 14 trickle board, 
And I'm thinking I probably will do another 11 by 14. Because is there five weeks in August? Or is there... F Wrong guy to ask. I know. I need to look at the calendar. It'll either be between eight and ten prompts. We'll say that. And so I want to be able to have some room on the plan I have in my head. Well, it looks like there's four full weeks and a couple extra days. Full four weeks. Okay. What day does it start on? The first. I know. Is yeah. What day is it? Wow. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Okay. So we've only got like two weeks, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. So much. So, so much. I had to put the hummingbird aside again. So do we have any questions so far on the paper? What I'm thinking is next week I'll take one of these papers and I will do a small test burning. We'll burn uh, next week and then the following week we will look at adding water colors to it. So what I might do is take a small piece of the wood pulp and a small piece of the cotton burn the same on both and we'll add color so that you can see the difference on that. Yes, it's easier. Um, Do you think you'll ever go back to that one? Yeah, I, I want to go back to it. There's so much I still, I, don't, I definitely want to go back to it. I just did too much. Um, I need to be a little more realistic with myself. I was like, yeah, I can do this. And I don't know why, between the YouTube channel and everything else I'm doing, <laughs> why I thought I could do all of that, I don't know. It wasn't a smart, it wasn't smart for me to do that. So I'm thinking two prompts a week, that way you can spend more time on it. Take your time, not feel rushed. There were people who were doing a burning a day. And I, the main thing is hoping to get people to just slow down and learn what works best for them that and, and see an improvement in their art because they slowed down that is my goal with it we'll see how that goes so I'm I don't know let's see here I got a list I made a list this time and actually Oh, I didn't talk about how burning wood is different than burning paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my samples. I guess we'll do the Hanamul because it's right here. And I think I'm going to do the 300 because oh, I can take down. And what I'm just going to quickly show. Let's see here. We'll use the hot press. Yeah, we'll use the hot press. And what I'll do is take my wood, because this is the 140 pound. And throw some stuff around. Because it's fun. There's my tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to, this is a lot of paper to use. It is a, I would tape all the way around. But I think what I'm going to do with this piece is show you what happens if you don't tape down, maybe. Right. I'm trying to separate the paper. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to get buckling going doing it this way, but we'll see. <clears throat> we shall see. All right, so I guess I'm freehand on something because I did not plan this. I guess. Hmm. Now with paper, you need. I'm all twisted. I was moving stuff around, so I'm all twisted. There we go. You're going to require higher heat in order to burn the paper at what you're used to for wood. It doesn't do, tend to be too much. It tends to be a setting, I think, at the most. What I'm going to do is go ahead and test that. Uh, you know, it's been a week. Ever since my birthday, I've just been dropping stuff. Yeah. All right. I'll try this again. So I'm going to put, can you see? 
I'm actually going to. Why did you put that on my? Ah, why did I put this? Okay. It's my tester sheet, so I can. Oh. Okay. It's just my, so I can see if that's. See, this right here is at three and a half. And let's see here. Maybe I need to like heat up some more. So this is three and a half with my medium small bond. My small ball tip. <laughs> so this way. You can see how much lighter it is. I may have to zoom in, actually. Uh, All right, guys, we're going to go for a ride. Here we go. Diana wants to know why this paper requires more heat than anyway. Um, I'm going to guess because, one, this is cotton, <laughs> and so it burns a little differently. I do wonder also if it's the sizing. Um, it also protects the paper. So, one thing about, yep, see that didn't change. So if I go up to four and a half, one thing about paper, you don't have to worry about sanding, so that takes a step out. You can use a light pad and that'll keep um, the paper cleaner on transfer. Let's see here. So this is not sanded wood, it's also. I think in general it's denser. Yeah, it. You figure wood is very porous, so the heat can move through it easier. And I think that maybe that affects the burning as well. So we're darker here. But, and I would do a test on both your wood and paper like I'm doing here with the pins that you think you're going to need to use. That way you're not having any surprises. All right, so this is five and a half. So we know that should burn the wood dark. That is five. So what we're getting about, we're getting about a step below. And what I mean by that is that's the four right here, and that's the five on paper. I think that's about how it translates. So if do, every piece of paper is going to be different. Every pin is going to be different. So just doing a quick test like this. <clears throat> so you can see the smoke when I do, maybe, maybe I should go even closer so you can really see it. All right, more run, more, more ride. Here we go. I'm just going to do it this way. That way I can pull it back out without having to readjust. So here we are. Can you see the smoke? That's a five and a half. That's a five and a half. There is a difference there. Um, if we look at doing that with the 18, I'll also be able to show how it um, quickly, how it uh, the carbon from the paper, or actually it's the paper, um, can kind of get stuck to the tip. So, huh, my color is a little off because that's an orange. I don't look orange on the screen. Oh, I'm all over. Alrighty. Just giving this a second to clean heat up. What's up? Oh, no, you're right. It does. Do, all right. do you find that it's harder to control gradient? Like, to get subtle gradations, or I think it does take a little more patience than the wood to do that. Okay. So this is four. Helena says this was just so unexpected for me. Why? I, I'm not sure. Huh? Oh, on because she's over in Germany. Oh. This is the because I contacted them. I was really curious about their. 300 pound um, hot press. Um, they didn't send that one to me. So slow, trying to keep the time the same so we can see the difference in the burn. Let's see here. That one with this tip, you don't see it as much. 
So I'm going to go ahead and bump down to three. And let's see here. We need to straighten out if I'm going to stay here. Huh? Oh, the camera. No, I don't think so. Well, because we're sideways and down. It's not that distracting. I don't think it's distracting. Are you looking? Yes, I'm looking. <laughs> Alrighty. So see, I went down to three. And there's hardly a burn there. I'm going to bump it up to three and a half. We do have a fan on. It's kind of, can you actually shift the fan down? Because it's going to interfere with my heat. That's my thank you. All right. So that. It's hot. Huh? It's hot here. I know. All right. Let's see here. What am I going to burn? No idea. So this is at three and a half. I found that I had to do smaller circles, tighter circles, go a little slower to control a gradient more. Let's see here. Yeah, so I saw sideways. See, the camera's all sideways. I can't see it right. So we're going to do this so you can see me better. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. So the paper is going to, each paper is going to look different. But I will say the hot press is based on what I'm seeing here. Pretty similar in how it looks burned. So I will have to bump up the heat to, I think I'm going to do four and a half. That was a dark. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to have to go over it again. And again, this still goes back to pin control, but it is, I think, a little easier to scorch the paper if you don't keep the speed the same. It's easier to get an oops. but you're not fighting grain here and you can get, still get very tight detail but I'm trying to darken what about um, mistake fixing how does that compare yeah, we're gonna get to that that's okay. one. that's one of the reasons why I'm oh, okay so I may just skip burning on paper since we're talking about that now and then just do something little and we'll play with color next week so, I didn't adjust the heat, but I am having to try to adjust my speed. So this would be darker here. And why I ended up doing a sphere, I have no clue. See, quicker. I have a little bit more control, but I do have to worry about starts and stops a little bit more. I'd say it's a little harder to blend out. Doable gets harder. So if I was going to scratch it out, I'd still use a knife. You do have to watch the angle. Of how you're scratching the paper so you don't cut it. But I would save this to the last because burning over scratch paper is going to have a much different result. Um, Pete says it looks as if you get over a spill on paper. I, I didn't. Um, what is that? He's talking about right here along the edge. I didn't clean it up. Um, that That's mainly my doing. <laughs> but yes, it can. I'd have to go back in with a smaller... Oops. Are you talking like where the, the burning blades? Yes, the, the blade. Oh, okay. That's what he's talking about. I never heard it called that. What did he call it? Overspill. No. I knew what he was talking about. I don't. 
I would have to tighten it up. I'd take a, probably another pin and tighten up what I just did. I'd probably have to take, I wouldn't take a pin that's too awfully sharp, but we are going to go with the 9M. And then I can tighten it up. Definitely easier to erase as long as you keep a light hand. Let's see here. It's right there. And I can still feel the heat from the paper. And the, the reason I know it's a burn through is I don't know how well you can see that. There's a burn scorch right here on my board. You can board. see a little bit. Yeah, it's right there. Alrighty. So. Yeah, this is still at four and a half. Let's see how much you can clean it up. It does. It takes practice. It's a little, it's definitely different from working with wood. So as long as you don't expect for it to be exactly the same and open to a new adventure, I think you'll have fun. Let's see. Here. I'm trying to clean it up so we can see how tight of because it's not as if yeah, there is some mind you I picked a trying to get a circle. <laughs> You ever find you make a circle and you try you keep making it bigger because you're trying to fix it? That's what I'm doing right now. So let's see here. See here, I wanted it more diffused. And it does have a bit of diffused edge to it. You see right here where I scratched, I really can't burn the same over that area. So things are fixable, but remember you're damaging the surface, like really damaging the surface. So if I was doing something this detailed, at the end, if I couldn't, for whatever reason, could not get the overheat to even out, I could take a knife, the areas that are super dark, scheme of things. I'll try to fix it. Let's see, I just went in my circle. But it's not going to... I think wood, I think it still happens with wood, but we don't see as much because of the wood color. So we don't really see it like we do on paper. And I do think that makes a difference. So if I... <coughs> of course, she woke up. Open, I haven't typed anything. I'm switching back over because I want to. What we're going to do real quick is I'm going to be quick. I'm just going to scrape the paper so we can see how it burns differently. And you can see where it peeled. Oh, you didn't give your hint yet. No, not yet. All right. So let's pretend I just fixed something there. I'm at four and a half. So here we know it looks normal. Ish. I mean, we are burning paper. How normal can it be? And then the same stroke and speed. It is going to look pilled because you have pilled the paper. So it's not going to blend out quite as well. And it burned a little darker, even though I'm using the same same speed. It did burn darker. So you'll have to be careful where you fix and when you do it. I do think I could blend it out. It would just take a lot of time. But see, because I'm trying to blend out, it got darker. Which means I would have to go darker to blend it out. So fixing is possible. You just have to be careful. 
and if possible do it at the end not the beginning now I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the heat just so we can do it quickly what I want to show if possible is the buckling of the paper and why I recommend taping down Wow, our color is like way off. Hey, Teresa. Let me see if I can make the color better. Maybe. Because that's an actual orange. Why it doesn't look orange, I don't know. I'm going to draw, I'm just going to leave it. We're going to leave it. It's fine. Oh, no. I'm sorry, guys. I really messed that up. Hopefully, we'll live with that. We shall live with that. And I'm gonna leave it alone. Alrighty, so I'm at six. So we're taping down, and you will definitely see more of a red tip burning with paper. And see when you go hot. Oh, you can really see the smoke coming off of that. Well, I bumped up to six, so it's completely normal. And yes, you will get the overburn, but you do that. You get that with wood anyway, too. In fact, let heat up for a second, and I'll show you the burn for six on wood. So you do still get that overburn, especially with higher heat. But it's this does stand out more. And so we do have, let's see here, we have a little bit of paper on here. I think I can, let's see here. So, Teresa Luke Singer is here. Teresa is the reason that we are doing this live. Oh. So, it's hard to keep an even burn. So sometimes picking a subject that does naturally change might make it a little less frustrating. See, I'm trying to even it out. And with wood, I could even better. Do so but uh, with less time and patience. You can definitely smell it. This being cotton, it doesn't smell exactly like wood, but it's pretty close. With my pen, let it Reheat for a second. Touching down can be a little problem. Blowing on the tip. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Will help keep the blotches from happening. Pete wants to know if you did the ravens on this paper. Uh, the, I did the ravens on. I don't have the package, do I? Um, I did that on the Strathmore. The small ravens or the big ravens? The big ravens were done on the mixed media board originally. The small ravens were done on illustration board. This is 140 pound hot press watercolor paper. All right, so see, I'm having, you'll find you'll be darkening and darkening and darkening trying to even out. So you really have to decide what exactly you want it to be. Because this is not a full heat, I don't think I can get it to buckle, actually. Because I'm not burning like a whole bunch. I don't think I'll be able to buckle. But I can, what I'll do is I'll try it down here, so I'm not wasting this side. Let's see if I can get it to buckle. And then I'll show you the, the paper adhered to the, it's not adhered to the tip. And like with the, uh, the ball tips, using the paint canning wax or paraffin wax to dip in while you're burning um, does help. I don't have enough on here. I'm going to bump up higher just so we can go quicker. This is seven and a half. Let's see if you can see the paper. Not really. All right. So this is going to be, this is what it looks like on the wood. This is when we start gouging the wood. On paper, 
you can actually get a pretty pretty nice burn so this would equate to the six on wood I'm trying to keep from gouging a lot more smoke but because I'm at an angle it's not in my face so while I'm doing this do you want to give them their hint and maybe explain what the hint is for because maybe they missed it last week okay face so, the mic Valerie I, they can hear me <laughs> Valerie is doing a celebrity piece that she's gotten permission to do and so she's going to give away how two. many prints? Two. Two prints. And um, for the first people to get give the... Uh, guess the person. Guess the, the person correctly. And we're going to continue to give hints. You can go ahead and give the last hint first. Up to the point. Uh, um, that's not pretty. Look at that. That's not pretty. No. Then I'll show you. I'll show you. That is why you have it on something. That's the burn through from the paper. Okay, so keep going. Sorry. Um, two prints. Yeah. So we're going to keep giving the hints up until the point that somebody gets it or until the print's released. Right, so how are we going to do that? Are we just not going to mention it anymore until... Because I figured the winners would be announced in the video. Mm -hmm. um, we'll give the previous hints so we can keep it all. Okay, so this is a a man. Ma. Man. <laughs> um, that's a, that was the first hint. The second hint is that their hair is an iconic part of their style. And now we have the current hint for this week. Drum roll. Which um, is, the, and, uh, we decided on this one because we're getting a lot of hints for people that were deceased. And this person is definitely alive. Very much so. So, there's your third hint. And... So, man, hair, and life. Yep. The, well, that really narrows it down. Well, I, it knocks up the people who aren't with us anymore. That's true. So, I'm just trying to adjust the color because I really messed it up. Well, Beryl has to go. She's got cows on the road. Bye, Beryl. Put your cows away. And paper also torches differently than wood. Definitely keep water nearby. Because if it goes big time flame. And then on wood burning, on wood I tried. Oh, I blew my flame out. <laughs> Oops. I was trying to blend the two because I can blend the two on the wood somewhat. But with the paper and see there's the buckling I was talking about and that's from the heat same as if it was water water also buckles wood or paper duh can't say in any place for any length of time make sure you have the right angle I'm just trying to See, I had to be closer. It gives you a whole different pattern. What you could do with this, I think, is if you wanted to torch your whole piece of paper, you could almost, but you have to get it even in order for it to work. <coughs> okay, I'm going to stop with that. <coughs> Don't smell good. This is hot. Watch your hand. Okay. Is what you could do. There we go. Now we really have some buckling. The paper will buckle like that if it's not taped down, even with your wood burner. So, 
And uh, I just want to re remind uh, chat regarding the guessing is that we're not going to confirm or deny any of your guesses. But if you get it right, then, you know, of course, we would confirm it at that point. Well, right. Well, no, if they get it, are we? Huh? Well, I think we confirm but it. But we can't confirm it for chat because... Well, we have to confirm it to them individually, probably. But, okay. Or not. We'll figure that out. Yeah. See, now I'm trying to scrape this. Ugh, we got a lot of chart and a lot of carbon going on here. Ooh, look at that. That's what happens. Ooh, we went through the paper. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. Whew. That's not good. I did not expect that. Well, that was a hot spot that I was trying to blow on. So it will. But see, that's why I do this. So we all know including me so this is taking off a really good layer of paper i'm gonna have to take this off screen from it all right so i am going to show you what happened all righty so this was our board that is where the paper was right there this is what happened to the paper with the torch and then scraping it took off a good layer or two of the paper oh that's still a bit warm so that's something you'd have to be very careful with let's see what else can i scrape with i wouldn't use any of my tips but that's only because i'm picky about my tips um i got some fun Funny guesses. Got some funny guesses? Well, you can read out the guesses. I'm, I like hearing what the guesses are. Pee Wee Herman. Mm. Yeah. Um, what else? Where are. There. Snoop Dog. Don King. <laughs> Don King. Dennis Rodman. All good guesses. I'll, I'll say that. See, I'm using the sanding stick because I was curious to see how the paper would handle the sanding stick. Because at this point, I don't know. It's not something I would normally do on my work. But I guess if I was trying to get a specific look, this wouldn't be necessarily a bad thing. So that's the more rough side. This is the, the finer side. Uh, what it's doing is it is knocking off the carbon from the fiber. Ready? Oops, made my eraser dirty. Whew, it's a mess. So if that works, can I use sandpaper? This is 320. Isn't it funny when I get my own questions when we go off on a tangent? Because I don't I don't know everything, so I won't know unless I do it. Most of the time. Ooh, ooh, no, don't like that feeling. Don't like what it. What just happened? Hey, it's kind of like the nail nails on the capboard feeling when you do oh, it. Okay. I didn't like it, so I clean up the paper. Alrighty, so I would say no torch with paper, and that is a pretty good reason right there. Why? Mm. See, there we go. Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. <clears throat> Robin, you're just being silly now. Yeah. Peekaboo. It's an interesting How are you? shape, though. That that's complete accident. <laughs> if you were doing the weathering on the side, I was just look, thinking that look look aged yep. or damaged. Yep, that's I mean, what, it's certainly damaged. Yeah, that's what I was actually just thinking. Is that right there? Because this was a hot spot. Oop. Look how tender the paper becomes. I'm barely touching it. Look at that. It just becomes so 
brittle. And that's where it was the hottest. And let's flip it on the other side. So that shows you where the hot spots the most were. Is and it also maybe hopefully you can see the buckling a little better. So yeah, this is the hottest areas. Oh, look at that! I barely touched that. Let's see if I. That brittle. Yeah, it's very brittle. Huh. So I would not use a torque. That's what this whole area is. This I was burning at seven and a half here, and it's still really. Let's see, is that brittle? That's not so brittle. This one was at six and a half. You can see the difference in the scraping as well. I'm getting a little more white here, whereas this isn't. So, alrighty, good things to know. We need another mess. Whew. All I did was hit the paper and it broke. I mean, I hit it. I it broke. <laughs> That's the piece of paper. Alrighty. So, the things you need to start doing the wood burning with paper is paper. Hmm. <laughs> that seems. And a hard surface to attach it to. We're gonna, we don't have paper, so we're going to substitute plastic. <laughs> no. No. Alright. Now, there's two different papers. This is cotton. There's also wood uh, pulp. Deciding what you want to do prior to your piece will help you decide what paper to use. I tend to like cotton. Cotton gives me a little more um, options. Works with wa uh, watercolor. Or, yeah, watercolor is a lot better. There's also the mixed media illustration board, which I have not added. I was going to add watercolor to the Ravens on the original board, but I liked it so much and then got nervous, so I, so I didn't. So I guess we can always test that. Uh, definitely easel, HB pencil at least. Um, I'm sorry, H, H pencil. A light pad makes it a lot easier for you to get your pattern onto your piece of paper. It makes it cleaner. I don't seal my paper burnings. I mat and frame them. And we can see some of our things that we need to pay more, closer attention to when burning on paper. It requires higher heat. Each pin will definitely burn differently and require different heat. Don't use a torch. <laughs> Not really. Not unless you need a hole in your paper, then David, torch away. David, who is Gossamer the monster? I don't know. I have. I think he's just... Oh, hey, Barb, we got another Aussie from last week. I saw that. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. But. <laughs> Pete says Keanu Reeves. Huh? Whoa. Well, I'm, I'm, what I like about this is we get to see the different names they throw up of who they think has iconic hair. You know what I mean? Robin says, hmm, how about Sean Snow? How about Jon Snow? Um, he won the dragons. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, yeah. Teresa says, just got a Huion. Perfect. Lightboard. I know exactly what she, yep. That's the light pad, or a light pad. Um, everything that has down in the description, I've got all the sample papers that I could find uh, listed for you. Those are not affiliate links. The only affiliate links I have are the Dick Blick and Amazon. And I guess Amazon Prime's still going today. Prime Day. I, I don't know. But it's, it's hard to tell what's going to be on sale and what's not. And this is a pain in the butt. Um, Teresa had the most questions. Did I cover everything for you, Teresa? <laughs> Because if I got it for Teresa, I think hopefully I got it across the board if you're watching on replay. I know. Um, yeah. 
But there is something we forgot. What do we forget? We forgot to tell them something. They're awesome and they can do this. Why? Because they're biography artists. I thought you were getting to that. No, I hadn't done it yet. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to, I got to take that off a loop. <laughs> got to take it off a loop. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to cover. Oh, please let me know about World Biography Month. I do, uh, I do have a group. I don't know if I have that down in the description. It's World Biography Month, uh, Pyro Group. Let me see if I do have it. I need to start putting that in the description. I do, ex I will do a standalone video explaining it. Um, I do have one already, but since I'm altering it a bit, I'll put it with a new video. Oh, and I got a new toy that no one knows about yet, other than three family members. Nobody else knows about it. It just got to me yesterday. So there's nothing I have posted online. I'm hoping to get that video done this week. I have to do some straightening up and organizing in order to make that happen. But I think a lot of you guys will be extremely excited about what I've got. It's a new tool. I know what it is. I know you know what it is. We talked about it. Well, yeah. Um, I want to tell. Even Burl doesn't know. She's not here anyway. I'm a little concerned about it. I know it's unfounded. Do you watch what you say? Because we're it's already doing it's enough. It's dangerous. It is not dangerous. It is no more dangerous than what I already do. That's Hence, look what I did to the paper. Look what I did to the paper. <laughs> it is no, no. Yes, Lana, for sure in August, I'm not doing it for any other, uh, not doing it for any other month. I've got so much hitting me all at once. So, yep, it is August. Such great, great uh, <laughs> guesses. There's the poll for the World, World Py Pyro Month up in the top right, right here, if you're watching on replay. I think I covered everything next week. I th plan on hopefully fingers crossed because I got so much crap to do. I want to have something burned on paper so that we can add color to it next week. I do have a blowtorch, Robin. I posted that in group. I I, I, I got that. In fact, we can show that. Can, can I have that? It's behind you. Let me back up the camera. Look at my messy studio. Alrighty, so no, this I've already shown. Oh, goodness. Why do you have it back in the box? I'm back in box because I wanted to keep everything together until I decided to do it. This is for another project, so I've already got this and I've already shown this. No, what I got now, I have not shown anybody. And only three family members know I even got it, or that I was going to get it, and one only knows I got it. Am I a family see. member? Yeah, I'll count you. Um, <laughs> I just didn't know if it was three including me, or three... Three including you. Including me, so only two other people? Only two other people know about, well, I guess technically there's one other person who knows I have it. What's the person that sent it to you? Did, 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 yes. I'm not giving anything away. <laughs> yes, that's the other person that, besides me and you, who knows, I got it. Because I don't think the post lady counts. <coughs> All right, excuse me. Oh. What watercolors are good to use? Teresa is asking. Mm -hmm. um, I, there's a few brands that I like. Uh, I will definitely look at going over those next week. Colors, uh, paints are light fast. I don't particularly care for student grade paints. They have more fillers in it. And when there's more fillers, it can cloud um, your burning. So I look for transparent watercolors, like high grade transparent. Core, which is Q O R, is a brand. They're really bright. Daniel Smith. You know, the thing is, you have to look at each paint because even within these lines, some paints are semi opaque, some aren't. So it depends on the color. Um, 
Oh, I can see the damn label. I just went blank on my... Daniel Smith. I already said Daniel Smith. You see my black thingy? There's a tube of paint right above it. By the blue bottle. It's always fun trying to... Thank you. I went completely blank on well, my name. Your studio is full of things. Oh, M. Graham. That's what I was trying to think of. M. So, Graham. <laughs> so when you say the thing next to the other thing... I, I know. I know exactly. M. Graham. Hundreds of things. Daniel yeah. Smith. Um, Core. Some of the Mission Gold. Um, I'm trying to think what other brand. I've got so many brands. I don't particularly care for Windsor and Newton, um, but it depends on the color. I've got so many palettes. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's more. But Daniel Smith Core uh, M Graham are the main ones I use. But anything that's in a professional line, as long as it's not semi-opaque. Is good to use and even the semi-transparent depends on the color um, that you'll be using on top of it so I, I need to make sure I do a good sample so we can show that Crayola? No Crayola. <laughs> no 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 no. Those are... And it comes in a nice self-contained little pack. Yeah it's a nice it's self -contained. for you. Even. For you. Oh you're gonna talk about that brush. Even as a kid you couldn't use that brush. None of us could. Well I just did the brush or get paint out of the damn thing. A lot of pressure. Smink is another brand. Yeah, Alana. I don't. I've only got a tester card, and from the tester card, I wasn't too impressed with it. But everybody's different. Paper is different. That all affects each other. So yeah, we'll we'll talk all about that next week. I think I'll have something on a piece of paper for you guys so we can color it. And I'm inking the community project. I've got that more nailed down. I gotta detail it out, but I'm inking that, and I, I'm not gonna. Even, I don't think I'll post that till September, because with World Pyrography Month in two weeks, it's just too much stuff. So we'll look at September for the community project. And oh, thank you for all the wonderful birthday wishes last week. That's Thursday. Thank you so much. What's your birthday? Ow. You deserve that. <laughs> Yes. I didn't forget, chat. No, he did not forget. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here right now. No, you brought me coffee, and you made me fajitas for lunch, and you made me steak for dinner. And I was a happy kid. Oh, oh, and the strawberry banana ice cream shortcake mm -hmm. thingy. And you got a card. And I got a card. With a puppy. Yes. No, on the card. You had an awesome birthday. I did. Extravaganza. I did. Did not forget, <laughs> and I did nothing. Yeah, that stings. There's probably gonna be a handprint there. No, there's no handprint. I no, it doesn't sting. Chat it's heard like, it. You probably you, you heard even, nothing. You anybody guys, wearing headphones would probably knock their headphones you off. You didn't They're hear nothing. Like, Ow, what was that? You heard it nothing. Like somebody breaking the the sound barrier. <laughs> oh, my birthday was last week, Lana. Hi, Biggie. Yep. See, Pete says domestic. Pete, abuse. don't help him. Like watching don't. a soap opera. Don't help him, Pat. Pat. Pete. Pat would help you too. So, I mean, shoot. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, because July 11th is my birthday. July 12th was my third year anniversary on YouTube. So. You have a YouTube channel? <sighs> Good restraint. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> we don't have any other questions. <laughs> we burned paper today. And we will burn some more next week. <coughs> Excuse me. It's so dry here. My sinuses are dry. They're going crazy. All right. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below on who you think this special wood burning is if you're watching on replay. And let me know about World Pyrography Month. Please, please, please. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Alrighty, happy burning, guys. Bye.